What is going on party people? It's your old pal CHH. So I wanted to do a video today. I want to go over the high definition releases I have of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise because, you know, we had the announcement, kind of an announcement, which I'm sure it's legit, you know, because it's, it's all over the internet of a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Now, we don't know where it's going to be taking place in terms of timeline or where it's going to be homed. Maybe it'll be, watch it go to theaters. Watch it go to theaters. I mean, stranger things have happened, right? Watch this movie go straight to theaters and bypass Netflix altogether. But I want to show you my home video releases of uh, the franchise in high definition, including the latest one that I have. Uh, now, it's a bootleg, but I'll show you how cool it is. So, we're going to start with the first film. And I've run the gamut on the first film. This right here was the bare... Not the bare bones. This was the standard Blu-ray release for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 10 years ago from Dark Sky Films and uh, at the time they did the 4k digital restoration for it then so you can see right there you got to give it to a uh, second uh, Dark Sky Films they didn't milk it too too much because they waited 10 years before they did another release yeah how many times did they re-release Halloween on blu-ray and stuff like that probably a lot at least in the VHS era and the DVD era but I'll give it to Dark Sky on this they did not milk this title horribly um, but the reason I got this at the time was truthfully because this was all I could afford. I went to Walmart and got this and um, it was just a matter of, it was that much of a matter of fact. I just I wanted the other one at the time, but I was like I can't afford it. I was I was just out of high school college. Uh, I just didn't have out of college. I just didn't have much money. So I mean it's it's not it's not, it's kind of cool, you know. Um, there it is and then the, the uh, disc art the disc looks like that. So I wonder, I'm sure this is still available, and I'm sure you can get this really cheap if you want it. Uh, then, I probably like a couple years later, I was able to actually get the collector's version, which is this. This was the one I wanted. This is the 40th anniversary collector's version. And it's cool because this slides out. And then you see all the uh, animal skulls on the wall. And uh, we'll have a look at that. Really cool pictures on that. Four discs. Feature films. Special editions. Uh, documentaries. I mean, it was chock full of stuff. Just a bunch of bonus discs. Cool pictures behind it. Uh, again, I think this might... Well, this might be out of print. Or not necessarily out of print, but it might be... Yeah, it might be out of print. I don't know. I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. But I like it. 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition Text Change. But at the time, I thought, man, they'll, they'll never do something better than this. And I still kind of believe that in a certain aspect. Um, I have another Blu-ray release for Part 1, but let's go through these. This was the 4K release from uh, Dark Sky. And again, I really love that artwork with the eyeball. They did a great job on that. You know. I was happy with this 4K. Um, you know, my, uh, slip covers, or my, my, my sleeve is kind of sliding down in there. Let me fix that. You know, I got the 4K release, and you got the poster art on the, uh, the original art. You can't beat that. You know. Came with a new feature-length documentary, which was, was pretty cool. The family portrait's my favorite, but, yeah, that was pretty cool. I, I liked it. So, this is still available. And I uh, really love that slipcover. That's just gorgeous. I still regret not getting the second sight release. You know, but it is what it is. And then I couldn't help myself. I had to get... It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right? So I ended up getting the steel book of uh, part one. It was one of those things. I saw it in the store and I was like, oh, man. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Um, but this one, the cool thing is, if you got, if you got the steel book... The regular release didn't come with it, but the steelbook actually came with uh, a poster. You know, you got the original artwork on that. I say that. Watch the other one come with the poster. Let me check. I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I think that was a slip cover, a steelbook exclusive thing. You know, but, I mean, look at that again. Look how gorgeous that is. You got. You have to admit that that's badass. No, I didn't. 
So if you want the mini poster, you got to get the steel book. Here it is, guys. This is the uh, the Black Maria truck. How did I end up with this? I didn't. I didn't know it existed until I was at uh, Fye and saw it. And when I saw it, I realized, oh no, I, I gotta take that home with me. Cause I remember looking at it. And I was a big Texas Chainsaw fan, but at first glance, I didn't know what I was looking at. Then finally, I saw the back, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So when you slide that out, you know, you take your truck out, you get the movie, a <laughs> a little fun little bloody apron, and it came with a little mini poster that I don't know what I did with, but it, it's a mini poster. They actually put a steel book out of it. It's a mini poster of an armadillo on the street with the uh, truck in the background. And uh, this is the 40th anniversary limited edition. And I really like the artwork on that Blu-ray release with the uh, the window, or the rear view window for the truck. Or the side mirrors, whatever the hell you call them. And again, you know, get all four discs, bonus features, all that. Exclusive bonus disc. What's the exclusive bonus disc? The Cine Family presents Friedkin Hooper, a conversation with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre between William Friedkin and Toby Hooper. Oh, I remember watching this because I think Friedkin goes off on somebody. Um, I think that clip's probably all over YouTube, though, if you want to see it. But, yeah. I still see these on Amazon. And they're not super, super expensive. A little, a little over retail. You know. So I've run the gambit for the most part on part one. And it's hard not to for me. You know, I think that's the greatest horror film ever made. You know, so it's hard not to want to just go crazy with part one. I still want the second tight one. But next up, we've got Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This was a really big deal when it was announced. The uh, Scream Factory release of part two. Um, and they did a great job with this 2K scan from the interpositum, f interpositive film element. This is when they were really open about everything too. I feel like nowadays they wouldn't even say that, that about it, the interpositive film element. But it did come with a lot of ba old features and things like that. They did a really good job in this release. They they put a lot of stuff on here, and they had new audio commentaries with the director of photography. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And production designer Carrie White. A lot of stuff on here. Original HD Master, supervised by director of photography Richard Karras, which is disc two. New House of Pain, an interview with makeup effects artist Baron Mixton. Gabe Bertolas and Gino Grognali. New Yuppie Meat, an interview with actress Chris Doritas and Barry Kenyon. New Cutting cutting Moments, an interview with editor Elaine Jakubowicz. Behind the Mask, an interview with stuntman and Leatherface performer Bob Elmore. It was stacked. It was stacked. So that was great. But I got to give the devil its due. Vinegar Syndrome put out the best release of ever for this movie. Um, I loved it so much. Um, the artwork's good. You know, I like it. Um, nice, really nice hard box. And they kind of, the, the artwork's good on this. It's, it's, it's very interesting. At first, I wasn't so sure about it, but I really like it. I like the portrayal of Leatherface. And I like that they just used weird colors for the font or for the, for the logo. Yellow and like a teal. But this is the real home one run. Look at this. Double-sided slipcover art with both posters. I mean, I'm, and it's it's embossed with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, just look at that. It's incredible. Um, and I think you can even reverse the artwork on the... Let me see. Yeah, you can reverse the artwork on the, on the sleeve, and it's the actual slipcover art. But what was great about this, guys, and I did a full review on this is they put everything on here special feature wise from the previous releases all of them and then they had a whole new disc for new special features that they did so they stacked the hell out of this undeniably stacked the hell out of it so yeah absolutely loved it i mean i tell people when i get asked should i upgrade texas chainsaw 2 i have the scream factory should i sell it and get the vinegar syndrome well, I think, unfortunately, this version with all the bells and whistles in terms of the packaging may be out of print. But in terms of value for the for the dollar, yeah, because they, they did it right. They got the license for everything previously and then added a whole new disc of interviews. Double-sided art. It's just amazing. I, I'm still in disbelief that Vinegar Syndrome got Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I mean, what the hell? 
I just, you don't expect that. Next up for part three, guys, uh, it looks like we're kind of like left to the devices of uh, Warner Archive. I don't know that they're ever going to do anything in terms of 4K or anything. I don't know. They seem to stick with Blu-ray, and I guess that's fine if you're a collector and you want to keep everything <coughs> on that format, you know. Uh, but this is fine, I guess. I think for most people, they... I like Texas Chainsaw 3, but I don't know how hardcore the people are to want this in a 4K. I, I, I don't know, you know. If it doesn't happen, I, I guess I'm cool, you know. Rest in peace, Jeff Burr. We lost him this past year. Just a great director. He understood the horror audience, I think. All his movies had that, that charm, man. They, they really did. So this is still available, guys. The Warner Archive, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3, Blu-ray. Um, if I can open it. Yeah, that, that's all it is. And then this came out years ago. Let me see what the date is on this. This was uh, probably like 20... It says 2018. I feel like it was older than that. Oh, well. 2018. Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. That's from Warner Archive. Next up, guys. Hell yeah. TCM, the next generation, man. Look at that slipcover art. Right. Of all the Texas Chainsaws to hit Scream Factory, the only one available right now still is this one. Next Generation, Collector's Edition. Um, I like this movie, uh, but it's, 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 it's very despised. Very much despised. I really like it, though. It's just bad. It's bad shit. You know? It just is. I love that. Um, good interviews on here. You got Levy Isaacs, uh, uh, director of photography. Interview with actor Tyler Tyler Cohn. Interview with special effects creator J.M. Logan. Behind the scenes, still gallery, theatrical trailer. Includes two versions of the film. The theatrical cut, HD, and the director's cut in standard definition. The director's cut is what's known as the return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And that release version was supposed to be lost for a long time, um, as far as I knew. And then this kind of brought that back into the fold. But I think a while back, <coughs> I don't know how, I don't, I don't remember if anybody was able to uh, verify this, but they supposed to, have, I think Orbit got a hold of a warehouse box full of the return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre VHS tapes. And I think that might have been that cut of the film on VHS. I don't remember if that was the case, though. I don't remember if anybody actually opened them up and watched them, or if they just kept them shrink wrapped. I couldn't tell you. I'd have to, I'd have to follow up on that. Because I have a Japanese laser disc, and if memory serves, it's even though it says the Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's still just the Next Generation cut. So, but this has both of them in there. So, I don't know. I like it, <laughs> but it's it's it's, yeah. Uh, next up, we have a Blu-ray. Uh, this is just a new line Blu-ray I have. I don't know how much more better releases they have out there. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 03. Now, it was either Dawn of the Discs or the Disc Father, who now goes by the physical media present, that, that said that we're supposed to be getting a 4K of this movie this year. So, you know, that would be cool. That would be cool. But as far as I know, in terms of Blu-ray releases, high definition, this is all there is at this time is this new line Blu-ray. You know. There you go. Directed by the great Marcus Nispel, which I did a, I did a, I did a video a while back about... I was doing a video... What was I doing a video on? I did a video on uh, the... Dimen uh, not Dimension Extreme, Platinum Dunes era movies, and I kept saying Marcus... Marcus Spinell. <laughs> like an idiot, you know. So there's that. And this is the one that's important. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. A lot of people say they wish it was uncut. It is uncut. There is an uncut Blu-ray. Legitimate uncut Blu-ray. Got this on Amazon. I had to do a little bit of digging on Amazon for it. But I found it. It was one of those things where it didn't show up when I would search it. But I went to Google and typed it in. And lo and behold, I could find the link to it. Why that happens... <coughs> I don't know. Excuse me. <coughs> I thought I had to sneeze. Uh, anyway, but no, there is an uncut version of the next, uh, the beginning. Um, it's on Amazon. It's a Canadian Alliance Blu-ray. Alliance put out uh, the, thea the theatrical versions of Rob Zombie's 1 and 2. So ironically, they put out the releases of a movie that people kind of want more than the regular versions. 
And in this case, they put the unrated version out for the beginning. Because you can get the beginning in a standard version release. But if you want the Blu-ray release uncut, the Alliance Blu-ray is the one to get. And it's one of those instances, I guess a lot of people in Canada speak French. You know, so they've got like the French right there and on the side. It's got it in both languages. Uh, and even on the back, Amer uh, English and French, which I, I like. That don't bother me. I think it's actually kind of cool. So if you want this movie uncut on, on uh, Blu-ray, you get it. It's there, man. If, if you need the link, I'll, I'll. If you can't find the link, I'll. Um, I'll find it for you. But yeah, I got that on Amazon, so it should be there. Next up, guys, Texas Chainsaw 3D. What was cool about this was this is one of those instances where the movie did come out uh, on 3D, true 3D Blu-ray. Uh, so you got this release, which is you know just a standard release. And again, I think this one. Yeah, this is another case of those. This is another case of that uh, Canadian release. You know, see, it's got the French down there. Even on the back. I bet if people in Canada, like, their entire collections of movies have all that. You know? I actually bought this at my used video store. As you can see, all the... And then I got the Walmart version with the cool slip. And the interesting thing is, I didn't notice this until I was getting ready to do this video. This is still the 3D version. So they still have this in true 3D. Um, somebody told me I can watch true 3D Blu-rays with uh, PlayStation VR. And I think I'm going to get that from a PS4. Because it's Blu-ray 3D compatible. And that sounds awesome to me. So, there you go. Texas Chainsaw 3D. Uh, next up we've got Leatherface. I don't know if this even came with a slipcover when it came out. I feel like I got this probably six or seven months after the movie was released on physical media. I don't remember if I liked it or not. This was a time where movies could go to streaming, but they were picked by one of the sites to come out. They weren't made for the streaming sites. So, like, there wasn't a worry about, oh, this isn't going to come out on Blu-ray like it is today. You know, nowadays it's just like, oh, it's a Netflix film. We're never going to get it on disc. Hopefully that changes in the future. Um, you know, Maybe if Wednesday sells well, they'll say, hey, why don't we throw that Texas Chainsaw movie we did on, on Blu-ray? People might want to get that. So, uh, Jerry Smith from ComingSoon.net says the best chainsaw film since the original. How about that? Uh, there is a Turbine 4K media book of this movie, too, that's actually kind of cool looking. So, there you go. Texas Chainsaw 2022. I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? Looks pretty official. You know. And it is full HD with, uh, here's the disc art. With Dolby Digital. So this is, like I said, obviously a boot that, uh, it's a Blu-ray R. That my buddy Kyle has a hookup for. Now, he doesn't... The guy he gets to make these... I don't think he's in the business of selling them. But he'll make them as... He'll make them for friends. And that's how I'm able to get this. But there are people you can find online that'll sell you. Sell you these. If you really want it. Which, I'd rather have this than... Uh, not have it at all. I mean, if they're gonna not put it on a disc... Make your own. Make your own. What are, you, what are you gonna do about it? Like, either put it out a nice release, or people will get their own. It's that simple. So, you know, I'm glad I have this. I can catalog it with my movies. I mean, this one looks official. Even got the Netflix logo up there, Texas Chainsaw. Uh, even the back, you know, the way it's presented, it, it looks so legit. I love it. I like this movie. What can I say? It's it's wild. So that's my HD versions of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, guys. I mean. I wouldn't mind getting it to some of those nameless media releases, like those really nice statues that they put out for like some of the sequels. Like there's a crazy one for the next generation that my buddy Phil has, and it's wild. But that's that's it is there it is, guys. I mean, I just wanted to do this to kind of see where we're at with my collection, you know, kind of get ourselves excited and ready for a new Texas Chainsaw film. It's always exciting for me. There's something about a new Texas Chainsaw film to me that's just like hell yeah, this is gonna be fun. It feels fun. I don't feel stressed out when somebody says there's going to be another Texas Chainsaw 
like with like Halloween or like Halloween, you kind of get stressed out a little bit. With Texas Chainsaw, it's just like, oh hell yeah, this is gonna be fun, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know your favorite release of all time of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, your favorite physical media release they've done, and if what you want to see from the new movie, guys. Let me know down below. This is your old pal CHH. God bless you guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you.